Ladies and gentlemen, on this momentous, auspicious, and fabulous occasion, we would like to invite you to be upstanding and join us as we raise our voices in singing the national anthem of South Africa. Thank you. Please be seated. Good morning. On behalf of the administration of Helderberg College of Higher Education, I extend a warm welcome to everyone present on this momentous occasion of the commencement ceremony of the class of 2023. We would like to acknowledge the following honored and distinguished guests. Our commencement speaker, Dr. Juvenal Balisasa, the Education Director of the West Central Africa Division. Dr. Paul Shongwe, the Southern Africa Union Conference President and Helderberg College of Higher Education Council Chairperson, and yesterday's baccalaureate service speaker. Mr. Denzel Furi, alumnus and former pastor of the Northern Conference of South Africa and the Friday evening consecration service speaker. Mrs. Catherine Kabutu Njekwa, Education Director of the Southern African Union Conference and Council Member. Pastor Andrew Hose, Alumni Association President and Council Member. Pastor Reese Anderson, the Ministerial Director of the Northern Conference of South Africa. Pastor Given Malakalaka, Ministerial Secretary of the trans Orange Conference. Pastor Temba Maseko, Executive Secretary of the trans Orange Conference. Pastor Jeremy Flotman, Director of the Western Region Meals on Wheels Community Services, and the proud husband of one of our graduates. Pastor Donovan Greek, the campus pastor 
of Helderberg College Church, All Nations Campus Church, and Silverleaf Church. We'd like to also mention Pastor Arnold Alexander, Mrs. Ruth Lehman, welcome. And any other conference officers and dignitaries who may be present. Councillor Gregory Peck of the Sub Council 8, Ward 15 of the City of Cape Town. Dr. Gerald de Prier, former Education Director of the Southern Africa Union Conference and former President of Helderberg College of Higher Education. And Mrs. Sybil de Prier, former Communications Director of the Southern Africa Union Conference. College faculty, staff, students, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, class of 2023. Commencement ceremonies are special, joyous occasions when graduates become graduates, when they finally, as the culmination of a year or years of hard work, dedication, and perseverance, receive their well-earned qualifications. Today we gather not only to celebrate the senior class's significant academic milestones and achievements, but also to honor the journeys that have shaped them and to witness when they step out of this hall in a while, the beginning of a new chapter in their lives. As they stand on the threshold of a new journey, they leave their alma mater knowing that the knowledge and experience gained during their time here will serve as a solid foundation for the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. To the parents, family members, friends, sponsors, and donors, your unwavering support has been invaluable. Today, we must acknowledge the role you have played in shaping the success of these graduates. Your encouragement, sacrifices, and support have undoubtedly contributed to their successes. Faculty and staff, the knowledge you imparted, your guidance and mentorship have played a crucial role in the academic development of our graduates. Your commitment to excellence and dedication to fostering and providing a conducive learning environment will leave, I am sure, an enduring mark on the minds and lives of our graduates. While we celebrate the achievements of the graduates, we should also recognize the responsibility that the knowledge and competencies you have acquired. The world awaits your contributions, your perspectives, your service. Whether you go on to pursue further education, postgraduate studies, enter the workforce, or embark on other ventures, remember and pursue the difference you can make. Graduates, savor these moments and take great pleasure in the sense of accomplishment it brings. As you step into the future, do so with confidence, courage, and commitment to making the world a better place. We will now follow the printed program and please note that Professor Conrad Zygmunt, who will announce the college song at the conclusion, is not a class sponsor, but the acting director for student services. Lastly, unfortunately, ESCOM is also present with us today as an uninvited guest, and load shedding is scheduled to start at 12 o'clock. We, we will brief that time to allow the generator switch to take place and then proceed with the program. Thank you. Good morning, I invite you to stand as we sing to God be the glory.
Call upon the name of the Lord, and he shall answer. Let us close our eyes as we pray. Indeed, we praise you, dear Father, for you have done great things. Dear Lord, this day is a demonstration of the great things that you have done. We come before you to thank you, to praise you, to glorify your name, for you are worthy to be praised, you are worthy to be honored. Dear Father, we come before you to appreciate you, dear Father. You've been with these students, the graduates of Hilderbe College of Higher Education. There are many times that some of them may have felt that they needed to withdraw from the programs of study, but you were there with them. Some of them experienced anxieties, especially during exams, but you were there with them, dear Father. We thank you for providing for them. We thank you for leading them and for, help them, for helping them to be successful with their programs of study. Our loving Father, we want to thank you for the parents, for the guardians, the sponsors, for their spiritual, financial, and physical support to these graduates. Thank you for providing for them, dear Father. Loving Father, we want to pray and thank you so much for the faculty and staff, for all their efforts that have contributed to the success of these graduates. Father, even as they are going to go into the world of work, we know that there are a lot of uncertainties. We know that there may be some fears, but your children, dear Father, have claimed on your promise, and they are saying that, fear not, for I am with you. As they are going to go into the world of work, dear Father, we pray that you may go with them. May you lead them. May you provide employment for those who want to work, dear Father. Those who want to be employers, dear Father, we pray that you may give them creative ideas of coming up with businesses that will come to fruition, dear Father. Loving Father, we also want to remember their parents and all the people that have contributed to the success of these graduates, that you may bless them for their contribution. Dear Father, we also pray and remember your servant, Dr. Balisasa, who is going to share the words of encouragement to these graduates and all of us. We pray that you may grant him words of wisdom and may the words that he's going to speak come from you, dear Father. May you give him an eloquent speech. May you also open our hearts that we may be receptive to the message that we are going to receive so that, Lord, the words that we are going to receive shall bear fruits. May you lead us throughout the whole day, dear Father, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
I think we want to thank Ethan Lawson for that magnificent piece of music. I think Ethan is a graduate of Stellenbosch University Conservatory. I believe he's currently busy with his master studies. And very recently, he was the recipient of an international award. And I think it's very clear why. Thank you very much. It is now my privilege to introduce our commencement speaker, Dr. Juvenal Balisasa. Dr. Balisasa is a native of the country of a thousand hills in Central Africa, the beautiful land of Rwanda. He is currently serving as education director for the West Central Africa, Div Africa Division of the Seventh-day Adventist Church headquartered in Abidjan, Ivory Coast. He is an ordained pastor teacher holding the following degrees, a Bachelor of Science and Master of Science in Agronomy from the University Mouloud Mamari in Algeria, an MBA in Quality Systems Management from the National Institute of Business Management in India, a Master of Arts in Religion, as well as a PhD in Religious Education from Andrews University. Dr. Balisasa has served as a science and Bible teacher at all levels of education for the past 25 years. He has also served as church pastor, associate district pastor, conference associate project director, and high school and university chaplain. He speaks internationally and extensively at universities, camp meetings, youth camps, teachers' congresses, professional and academic conferences, colloquia, and business seminars. Dr. Bali is actively involved in social science research and publication and continues to supervise master's theses and doctoral dissertations. He has also authored several books, including Exhaustive Notes on Integrated Science for Senior Secondary Schools, Top-Notch Tetragrammatic Transformation, Change Your World, Sugar Dadism, that one sounds very interesting, and Witnessing for Christ. Dr. Balisasa is married to Victoria, present here, and the Lord bless the family with three children who are now young adults. A son, Alfred, studying medicine in Georgia, the country, and daughters, Esther, also pursuing medicine at Babcock University in Nigeria, and of course, Tunil, who is graduating here today, and is the senior class president. Of note, Esther and Tionil are twins, and I believe Tionil is the older sister, maybe by a minute or so. Dr. Balisasa, we look forward to your address. the Chancellor and uh, Chairman of the Governing Council of um, Herderberg College of Higher Education, the President of uh, Herderberg College of Higher Education, 
Education Director of uh, our host union, field leaders of the South and Africa Union Conference of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, our highly esteemed counselor, representatives from the various national regulatory bodies, principal officers and other officers of this great college, deans, directors, heads of department, family of faculty and faculty themselves and staff, parents and guardians, alumni of this great institution, other members of this college, beloved and honored parents, graduates, distinguished invited guests, media men and women present, ladies and gentlemen. I have this great honor by the almighty God through the, the responsible people leading this institution to witness this opportunity. It is very unprecedented to me and to my family. I am also grateful to the leadership of this institution. I should and could and must have been here by virtue of being a parent of one of the graduates. But honor is mine to be here standing before you to speak to my own friends who are graduating today. Pastor Chancellor, President of the college and all protocol observed. I have a clear task of attempting to express concisely the lifestyle which the graduating class members have decided to adopt as they go out of this school and the legacy the class wishes to leave with us those of us here and those of us from, an, from an other places. The time and nature of this occasion also, unfortunately for me, refrains me from preaching, though I shall ultimately land in the word of God. Otherwise, I will be accused of turning the commencement ceremony into an evangelistic team. Tell the graduating class to remind me to respect their deserved break before they launch into either graduate studies or into the corporate world. So help me God. The graduate class of 2020, 2023 has chosen who I am with you, with you as their motto, as their, as their color. Fear is an unpleasant, pleasant emotion caused by the thickness, simple and less, and less sophisticated mind. I would have, lim would have limited myself to a simplistic and description, description of fear as one of the, one of the most refer referred website for children, which defines, defines fear as one of the most human emotions. The definition on that website says, I saying that fear is into the nervous zone. Nervous zone. We are equipped with the instinct necessary, necessary to respond with fear. when you sense danger or feel, uns or feel unsafe. Fear, the website conti site continues, protect us. It makes us alert, alert to danger yes. and prepare to deal with, deal with it. It continues. Fear, fear is no. Feeling, af feeling afraid is very natural. Dare not mistake this gathering of gathering of God-fearing galaxy of intellect for mere, cons mere consumers of scientific descriptions, presumptions, and, and interpretations. Let belittle the deeper, the deeper, and higher and meaning and purpose. purpose of this honorable class. Therefore, 
Pastor Chancellor. There's a reason the class motto and motto and color without pretending to tie a motive behind, behind and the other class of 2020 in their sophisticated, sophisticated and ambitious mindset. Success in this world, this world and citizenship in the glory camp. Pastor, Chan Pastor Chancellor and the house. The oh, graduating class 2020, 2023 is enshrined in the, in the, in the, tenth, the tenth verse of the first chapter of the book of, the book of Isaiah. This man, the prophet, I am with you. I am with you. Be not dismayed. I am your God. God, I will strengthen you. Yeah. I will help you. Help you. I will uphold you with the right hand of my, of my righteousness. Say why on the class motto, purse motto, permit me to understand all the concept of fear has, ab has abounded in literature over the century due to its significance, significance in human life and activity. In fact, sc scrutin in is as a whole species. It, mu it must surely be fear. And the end of its hold on us, hold on us is not in sight. Chichiniski, after, after studying the subject of fear, came okay. to the conclusion that fear and that fear influences the process of decision making, decision making by leading some subjects to focus, ex focus excessively on profit a recent, a recent extensive study published in the Journal of Medicine was, di was directly associated with this mental well being. Science has gone so far to identify the, the fear-generating brain, which is now, no, is now known as the amygdala, and that is such as those, those of Professor Bachao at Harvard School of, Med, School of Medicine have led to the discovery that produces, produces a problem known, a problem. A, a, a known as, as Stathmin. Stathmin. Professor Emeritus, Emeritus William R. Clark, of the molecular biology, biology of the University of California have confirmed that there are, that there are actually many genes that influence fear and, and anxiety. In actual fact, ladies and gentlemen, I am, I am compelled to refer to one of the studies published, published in 2022, which had a new gene, gene labeled ADRAM, R-A-M, molecules inside the cell helped co coordinate the formation of extinction mem memory. Professor Brady, the University of Queensland, Queensland, referring to this amazing discovery, claimed that with, that with this new understanding of gene activity, we can now work toward developing, developing tools to selectively modern coding, coding ribonucleic acid that directly modify, modify, modify memory and hope or fear, or fear. Many other things that they didn't all be, all be not characteristic of scientists have addressed the issue, the issue of, of fear in mind the reader to appreciate, to appreciate the significance of fear and help with it. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, Garrett Ryan, in his brief, his brief history of anxiety and fears in the ancient and, ancient and medieval world, and I'm not think that Aristotle felt, felt for the Stoic philosopher Tetus in the first in the first century AD, he said that is one of the most one of the most common logical errors find as a lack as a lack of proper knowledge. We were told we were told yesterday that Franklin Roosevelt said that the only thing only thing we have to fear is our J.R.R. Tolkien. He Flees from his flees from his fear may find that he has argued that too many too many of us are not living our dreams. We are living our fears. In our fears, this has advocated two mutual, mutually exclusive ways of saying that, that fear may mean get everything and run and run, or face everything and ri and rise. Seems to, seems to align with this second point. He said that courage, courage is not the end. For fear means fear is the, is the path of the dark side. Fear leads to anger. anger. 
Anger leads to hate. He had suffering. For Ralph Waldo Emerson, they say that he who is not, who is not every day conquering has not learned, learned the secret of life. As for Bertrand Russell, and Russell says fear is the of superstition. And one of the main sources of freedom. Maybe I should end with African, African proverbs. Ladies and gentlemen, when, when the root is deep, there is no reason to fear the, to fear the wind. Considering this transgenerational threat, threat to all human societies, it seems very appropriate, appropriate, ladies and gentlemen, and lovingly providential, providential, that the creator of the universe needed, but, but hardly understood for an accepted remedy. remedy. Fear not, fear not. I am. Be not dismayed. He emphasizes, I, I will strengthen you. He gives that assurance. That assurance. I will give my right hand of, right, of righteousness. Fear not. By commanding us Fear not to, God himself, himself acknowledges, ladies and gentlemen, that fear is real. real. That fear is possible. That there, are, that there are reasons for fearing. That there are causes of fear. Of fear. That fearing God does good. That fearing can chancellor. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, remains problematic to many a truth seeker. For the sake of, em sake of emphasis, may I reiterate that only explain what fear is. Fear is. Where it, it is generated, what triggers it, triggers it, and brings out a widespread effect. 